So another memory task is something known as the radial arm maze. And this is like a, um, like a, a central, you know, kind of platform that you place the rodent. You know, this is often used with rodents. Um, and then there are a series of arms that radiate off that central platform, usually eight arms. Um, and the, um, the, there could be a food reward that is placed at the end of each of those arms. They, they say that they bait the arms, actually. And if you put like a rat or a mouse in the middle platform, um, you know, it'll, and it has a perfectly, you know, intact brain. You haven't done any surgical intervention on the tip of campus or medial temporal lobe. It'll start from the middle. It'll go down the first arm. It'll come back out. It'll go down another arm. It'll come back out. It'll go down another arm. It'll go down another arm. It'll go down each of the baited arms, and it will not re-enter arms that it just entered uh, because there is no more bait there. It already got the bait, right? Um, but if there is medial temporal lobe hippocampal damage, right, that is done surgically, let's say an experimental group, um, well, the rat will re-enter, you know, arms that it just had gone down. So um, this is a, a good task also for sort of um, demonstrating the importance of the hippocampus and medial temporal lobe for explicit memory, declarative memory, you know, sort of episodic memory, um, which appear to be rather dependent on, you know, an intact hippocampus and medial temporal lobe network. Um, what's interesting about this, though, is... Um, you can also test implicit memory with this task. Um, you can, for example, um, always bait four of the arms, the same four arms, and never bait the other four arms. So, you know, the rat is put in, and let's say it's had hippocampal, medial temporal lobe, you know, removal or damage. Um, you could put it in there, and it, you know, goes down these various arms, etc., and it will re-enter the baited arms occasionally. But if there are four arms that are never baited, never, never baited at all, you know, there's no bait ever down those particular arms. Over time, you know, those rats will often learn to never bother entering <laughs> the non-baited arms. So it, they're acquiring a, an implicit or procedural skill, right? Um, even in the absence of medial temporal lobe, an explicit, you know, episodic, declarative, you know, knowledge of, you know, the various trials um, that they've experienced before. That's been lost, right, because of damage to the hippocampus medial temporal lobe. You know, they're going to start, re they'll keep re-entering, you know, baited arms uh, that they've already been down, but they can learn over a long period of time, you know, that if these other four arms are never baited, you know, not to bother. They've, they've developed, they develop this implicit skill. So that, that, you know, implicit procedural memory has got to be dependent on, you know, different networks, you know, basically in our brains. Mm -hmm.